Well, I'm proud of our team, you know, coming out and taking care of business on a Tuesday night after the emotional weekend and, you know, still fighting things a little bit from an offensive standpoint, give UTA pitchers credit. You know, they did a nice job, but, you know, we had some heroes tonight that haven't pitched in a while. I thought Turner Larkins was big for us and coming out and, sh and stopping them in their tracks and obviously Case and Sherrod for finishing it up. But, you know, Jonathan Maroney again proves he's ready to go coming off the bench and gets a big hit after an inning we set up with all with two outs. He just says, I'm here, I'm ready, and I'm, every opportunity I get, I'm going to make the most of. And, you know, couldn't ask for anything more the last two days that he's a hero and, you know, certainly going to get more opportunities moving forward. Always makes you feel good. It makes you feel better for the kid that he's ready to go and he got the big hit, and he's the one that feels good about that, especially in that moment we needed that hit in a big way. Really so. It's great defensively and continues to, you know, be a big part of our success since he got the opportunity. He's made the most of it and's almost played flawless defense, which is really hard to do at shortstop. Certainly one of my very best friends and a guy that you know, I wouldn't be here without him and, and doing what I'm doing without him. And, uh, you know, he always he always has his team ready to play and, you know, they're chasing wins right now and certainly went on the road last weekend and got two big ones at Kentucky. And, you know, they're an offensive club. We're going to have to do a great job on the mound and force them into their bullpen. You know, at Kentucky, they got two complete game performances and, you know, eliminated their issues, which was their bullpen. And, uh, you know, we'll get their best shot and I expect them to get ours. Um, you know, I felt pretty good tonight. Uh, I thought Kilkenny got us off to a pretty good start. You know, that second inning was a little rough for him, but, you know, he just got through it. Um, so, you know, my mindset was just come in and just build off that. Um, just let my defense work. I thought they did a great job tonight. Um, honestly, I think we're ready for it. Um, you know, our first uh, our first two road series kind of started off kind of slow. Um, but then the other week at Mississippi State, you know, I think we hit our stride, certainly. Um, we'll just have to go in there and just attack, you know, be on attack the whole time, and I think we'll be fine. Yeah, you know, um, I think he's just been patiently waiting, you know, for his time to come. Um, and when he got it, you know, he uh, he's doing stuff with it. So, you know, I'm happy for him. He definitely deserves it. Yes, you know, um, when Coach Childers puts me in, you know, it expects me to get the big out and, you know, just throwing the ball over the plate and letting the defense work behind me, you know, it makes it easy when you got one of the best defenses in the country behind you just to throw the ball over the plate and, you know, getting out. It does, because, I mean, I just, all I do is focus on throwing the ball over the plate and, you know, keeping the ball down low and um, letting them hit it. And, um, you know, I know they'll make plays behind me to get that big out and get us out of the inning. You know, I think we're, you know, feeling really good. Um, you know, the bats were awake today and um, J-Mo had a great grand slam for us and um, you know pitching's pitching's been great so far and you know I think I think we're going into the series with a chip on our shoulder and you know we're just going to go play Aggie baseball and you know that's what we do best. Um, well Cole and I played summer ball together so we kind of have a little special relationship and um, you know he keeps us in the game keeps us positive and you know just it makes it that much easier just to pitch the ball to him and you know keep it over the plate knowing that you know he can make a make a play if you so happen to bounce a ball or uh, make a bad pitch. Uh, yeah, my dad he sits right behind home plate right there, and always where I can see him if I was across the plate. And uh, he sits there every single game through the rain, through the heat, and he just waits for me. And so I feel like I just give him a little shout out coming home. But I mean, it wasn't just me; it was great at bat after great at bat. They get the bases loaded and uh, got down in a 3-0 count, and he threw a 3-0 fastball right down the middle, and I was just praying for that pitch again. He threw it, and I just let the bat work. Yeah, I knew, I knew it was going off the bat. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's not very often that I feel a ball come like that, come off my bat like that. But, I mean, it was just a great experience, great feeling. Um, I honestly have no idea. I just try to stay ready mentally more than I do physically, try to tell myself that I'm going to be able to get my shot, get my opportunity. And when my opportunity presents itself, I try to uh, just do my best. I'm not, I'm not trying to do too much. Um, I mean, I feel like I've been seeing the ball all right all season. It's just, I don't know, I haven't really gotten the bat head there and trying to do too much, mainly mainly before this past couple of weeks. But, I mean, I honestly don't know. Just up there having fun. Um, I feel like we needed to face a little bit of adversity so that way we can get our heads on our shoulders, so that way we can move forward because the SEC is the toughest conference in the nation. And uh, no team that we're going to be facing from here on out is going to take, we're going to take lightly our pitching staff, our hitters. We're just going to come out with our A game. Um, I just feel like today we were a little bit out front of ourselves. We were trying to do too much with the wind blowing out and all. But, uh, I mean, we're still the best offense in the, in the country, and it's going to stay that way until the season's over.